Goshen, Indiana. An urban environment. Not everything's well cared for. This is what you see in most alleys. But not every alley is full of weeds, utility poles, and dumpsters. Saturday morning and Stacy Jeffers is here in Goshen at the Art Alley. The sun's coming up behind Sorg Jewelers and she is installing a piece of yarn art on a handicapped parking sign. The urban artist has to be willing to get down in the gutter and get dirty. Okay. As soon as I found out about yarn bombing or was uh, saw pictures of it, I immediately connected to it. And yeah. Felt like it was a, a, a passion. It was like an immediate passion for me. I wanted right. to go out and make my first yarn bomb and go put it up that night. And so. Wow. And you have you have yarn bombs that have been installed in Australia, and New Zealand. Yeah, Australia, and New Zealand, and I actually just sent one out this week too to Oakland, California. They're doing a major installation, indoor and outdoor installation. So sent a piece out for that. And cool. And some other states too, in Indianapolis. Uh, yes, my, my sister-in-law and I, we we put up yarn bombs in Indianapolis at the Harrison Center for the Arts. We put up yarn bombs in San Diego. Michelle's put one up in Virginia. So. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm not tagged a train. I, I would be open to tagging a train, though. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, uh, Just uh, a, a train that was sitting there. Of course, not a moving train. No, 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 not, no, keep yarn out of politics. Let's keep yarn in politics. I think if you have yarn anywhere, it could be better. So, <laughs> um, so how is it political? Is this Occupy Art Alley or what? <laughs> it could be, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing today is occupying Art Alley. So. I'm Stacy. I'm Michelle. And we, and love we love the Art Alley! Art Alley.